Hi, my name is Ryan Naki. I'm the inventor and patent holder of the jerky roller. I'm going to show you today how easy it is to make jerky with the jerky roller. I have five pounds of meat. It's roughly about 80% lean. <clears throat> you can use a little bit uh, leaner if you'd like. It is going to produce a drier jerky. 80%, 85% is where I like to stay. <clears throat> All you need to do is take your seasoning packet, open it up, usually two parts to a seasoning packet, your seasoning and your cure. <clears throat> Spread your seasoning on your meat. You don't have to get too fancy with it. <clears throat> Take your cure, throw it on top of your meat. Now I like to use a half a cup of water. It actually dilutes the seasoning so you get a, uh, a mixture so you don't have big spice balls inside of it. You can use beer, you can use fruit juice, you can use any other kind of liquid you want. Um, next thing all you got to do is just uh, fold the meat, mix it well so the spices are all the way through the meat mixture. It should take about a couple minutes. <clears throat> tacky, you know you're pretty much there. Okay. okay, we have our meat ready. Alright, once we have our meat seasoned, next step Take some heavy duty foil, approximately the same length as your oven rack. <clears throat> One important step here, take about two inches of your foil and fold it over your counter so you don't have any kind of foil slippage. Alright, next thing what we do is take roughly about a third of the seasoned meat mixture, place it onto the foil. You don't have to get too fancy here. Alright, what we need to do before we start rolling is take a little bit of the cooking spray, coat the roller. This will prevent any of the meat mixture from sticking. What we want to do is just work your meat back and forth. Take your time, you know, there ain't no race. This is, this is going to take a little bit here to uh, get used to. Once you get, get it down, it goes fairly fast. Once your gauge wheels on both sides of the roller meet the foil, <clears throat> you know you have a uniform piece of jerky ready for the oven. Okay, we're going to have a little bit of extra on the sides and the ends. You can square them off if you'd like. It's not necessary, but if you like, you can square them off. <clears throat> I use a spatula. Basically, scrape one end, put the extra meat into the bowl, scrape the other end. If you want to get fancy, you can square it off on this side, square it off on this side. One last roll. After you have everything perfectly uniform, <clears throat> you want to create a drip-free pan. Very easy to do. Fold the one end in, fold it again, turn it up on a 90 degree angle. Repeat the same step on the other end. One time over, one time here, fold it up. Next step, 
do a 45 degree angle, which will create one corner. Same on this end. <clears throat> fold it halfway to, fold it up, fold it over, it'll lock everything in. Same way on this side. 45 degrees. You don't have to be perfect, just leave a little bit of room between the jerky and the foil. You're going to have a little bit of moisture. Fold it over. There you go, there's your drip free foil pan. Alright, after you have the first one done, you want to repeat the steps you just did until your meat mixture is gone. <clears throat> now this process can be used with any kind of protein. You can, you can roll out fish, you can roll out duck, um, venison, any domestic animal you can think of, um, any wildlife that you hunt, it don't matter, or any fish that you catch for that matter. Um, <clears throat> you don't have to be perfect down the ends. Square it up a little bit. Give it one last roll to make sure everything is uniform thickness and you're ready to do another drip free pan. You got a little bit of extra foil. It don't matter. You don't have to be perfect. 45 degree angle, 45 degree angle, turn in, turn up, tuck. After you get all your meat mixture rolled out, your next step is to take it over to the oven and put it in the oven. Preheat your oven at 220 degrees. And all you have to do is take one pad, put it down here in the oven. Next pad in the oven. Close it up. Now I do like to keep the door slightly open. I use a spoon, you can use a knife, you can use a piece of foil. This lets the moisture escape out which will help dry your jerky out. This process will take roughly about, the first step will take about an hour. You want to bring up that meat mixture to about 165 degrees, especially if you're using poultry, um, wild boar, bear, this will kill all the parasites. 165 degrees is the key degrees to get to for your first step. Okay, our hour has uh, elapsed now. It's time to take the jerky out of the oven. Um, be careful with this so you don't burn yourself. Um, when you pull the, the jerky out, be careful. You're going to have some liquid on each side that could actually spill out. Um, just be careful. Bring them up here to cool off. You want them to cool off for a few minutes before you start cutting.
Okay, we've let our meat, uh, our jerky cool for about 15 minutes where it can be handled easy. Um, two ways to cut it. You can use a pizza cutter or you can use the scissors. I prefer the scissors. You do not have to get fancy. Cut them into strips as thick as you like. They don't have to be all the same uh, thickness. Basically continue to do this until you're all the way through. Okay, continue cutting until you get your second sheet done. Okay, our next step is to um, take our jerky and dehydrate it down, take some more of the moisture out, and uh, we're going to use our dehydrator we have here. We'll do dehydrator up, set it for whatever dryness that you like. It could take anywhere from one hour up to four hours, depending on how dry you like your jerky. Alright, put your piece of foil on the bottom rack. This will catch all your drippings. Take your meat, put it on a skewer. There's one way, or what I like to do is the easier way. Just lay it right on top of the rack. Don't have to get fancy. Just leave a little bit of space between each piece. Put it back in the oven. Leave the door open a little bit. This will let the moisture draw out. Dry it anywhere from one and a half hours up to three hours, depending on the dryness that you like. Here's our final product we made with the jerky roller. Um, here are some of the options you have for your spice blends that I came up with. We have an Italian blend. We have a bratwurst blend. We have a seafood blend for your fish lovers. We have a sweet hot blend. We have a pepper blend. We have a summer sausage blend. We have a basic blend. This is the jerky roller. Jerky made easy. I'm Ryan Naki. Enjoy.